Captain's Log, start date, August 11th, 2009. Hello, my loyal fan date space. I would like to address the imposter, Ian Brandon Anderson, for a moment. I officially declare myself the winner of the Sing Star Challenge contest between your because your judges have not followed my have found not found not not followed any rules uh upload, uploaded any videos. My judges have been following the rules and giving me scores. Therefore, because you have no scores, you're out of the running and I am the true Christian Weston Chandler. Now I don't care if you're stealing my original work and comic pages and arts and uploading onto a dimpy little website where no one will see them and be, while the true comics are about to be published by Dark Horse Comics. Yes, you heard it right. Dark Horse is where venture, they are working venturously, furiously to create and draw and write the first Sancho Episode Zero comic within accordance from Sega and Nintendo. Now they are also working with uh, certain Microsoft as well. My, the, my current status on the project is they may hire me as production manager. So, you know, keep my fingers crossed. But, uh, and other things, uh, I present to you another True Sonic Jew merchandise selling site is quickstore.blogspot.com. And it's your one stop shop for anything Sonic Jew, Roast Jew, or Quickville related. I will show you a, a bit of the site right here. Now another note there, uh, I'm going to start selling uh, Lego sets of Quick Veil, vale, along with uh, Guides to the City. So uh, I'll be looking forward to that one, uh, True Believers. The uh, Sanchu Crystal Chronicles game has come along pretty well. It's going to be a uh, RPG style game, role playing game, in outside the city of Quickville. And uh, it is currently being produced uh, in tandem with Microsoft for the, ex for the Xbox 360. Look forward uh, to the official revealing of it in the uh, game developer, Dawson Game Developers Conference. Hmm. Anyway, uh. Yeah, so that's about it for now. Uh, still making lots of monies, rolling in the, rolling in the, rolling in the dough, you know. And, uh, who knows what the future holds. Peace. And to my, my darling sweetheart, Casey. Eventually, a light, a magical lighthouse that randomly shone its healing guiding light upon my previously shattered heart and tortured soul, and mended them back to good shape and form. One girl walked into my life, like a sailor soldier having just vanquished a heart snatcher. Bit by bit, I've noticed your shining lustrous hair, your shiny blue chaos emerald-like eyes, and personality, strong and caring, like a true buttercup bloom. I followed my recovered heart's instincts and followed you. As I got to know you over the months, and my heart was growing stronger as I was falling for you. I blushed more strawberry pink than I ever had than I have ever before, and everything around me was shining like a sun's mellow color, yellow. Uh, for you, I would travel even a thousand miles just to be with you. Fortunately, uh, you live only about two hours away from my house, and uh, I meet I meet you when we date. This feeling that was, and still is, so pure and true. It was, a, it was as a, if I was born to love you. When you smile, I feel like I'm walking on sunshine, as I give my replying smile and gaze into your eyes. And your hair is the softest and most warm tingling. 
Cloud 9. I feel like I'm on 10. Casey, my love, would you marry me?